All right, so that's uh, for your exam three. Now, for your exam four, so the materials, um, material that is posted now that um, I kind of want to bring your attention to is the review guide. You will see that it's not just the copy and paste of your midterm. Because with your final, really, the, um, your strategy changes. So um, I, I think this went out like two days ago, right? Um, so, or a day ago. Um, what it is is I no longer am no longer recommending that you look through the chapter uh, review summaries. Because, I mean, you, you can review it, but it's more of a confirmation than uh, if you are trying to learn something from review summary, at this point, it's probably too late. You don't have enough time to like, get caught up or something. So uh, I mean, these are linked from here in case you still want to do that. But it really does come down to there is not enough time to, uh, for you to do any substantial review of materials. That's what you are supposed to do when you're preparing for exams one, two, and three. So for final exam, it's really a um, uh, triage. You are trying to fill in the gaps that you are able to fill in and ignore the gaps that you can't fill in. Um, and to that end, one thing that I do recommend is you probably should make the remake the index cards. Even if you have them saved from the midterm exams, um, it just process of copying it over will give you some level of review that's uh, you know, an appropriate balance between the amount of time and some level of review that you don't do. Um, and really what I just tell you is that review your midterm exam. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this in this class. Um, you should never miss the same question twice. Did I mention it in this class? Yeah. Yeah, you should never miss the same question twice. So a good chunk of your final exam, especially the multiple choice portion, the way I construct it will be, I'll go through my um, results here, statistics. I'll, um, ignoring this one, I'll look at which ones, hmm, which ones have a lot of people missing the question, like question two, question 16, and question 21, whatever they are, I'll probably put those on the final exam, because it's something that a lot of people missed. So it was obviously challenging in some way. And what I'm telling you is, that, so normally I wouldn't construct a midterm exam like that because then your multiple choice score will be way too low. But on the final exam, I'm justified in doing, um, doing that for a portion of your multiple choice because you, you should not miss the same question twice. Whatever you missed, if you saw the same thing, for the second time, then you should be able to get it. And also, while you're reviewing, review the ones that you were simply guessing at the answer and just got lucky and got it right. <laughs> also, you know, make sure you get lucky twice. <laughs> um, so that's a, the main thing I'd say. Review your midterm exams. Your midterm exams already one reflects material that I thought were important enough to cover in your exam, and two that you somehow missed. Um, so, and um, the post-sample final exam. It will be useful because it reflects some aspects of questions that I can never test on any on one any on any one midterm exam. That's really why I started doing cumulative final exam, even for my physics 4A. Last time I thought it, I did a cumulative final exam. I think we're going to continue. Is that um, you gain a perspective at this point in the semester that you were never able to gain um, earlier in the semester. For example, there's a, a deep connection between optics and quantum mechanics. And we were never able to really focus on that. Because when we were doing optics, you didn't know about quantum mechanics. And when we got to quantum mechanics, we were busy doing quantum mechanics. So we were really never able to go back to optics. But now that you have covered all of that, on the final exam, you can see that perspective. And not every question will be like that, especially the multiple choice questions. They are kind of shallow anyway. Um, that's why I'm telling you now, you will see some repeat questions. But on the free form answer questions is where you will see some aspects of that. Now, some of them will be simple repeat. Like, I think a lot of people will forget about geometric optics by now. So I'll give you some geometric optics question on the final to make sure you at least review. And uh, what you see here is, uh, what is it? Uh, uncertainty principle. So here's the one that I now remember. Uh, I, I remember this as reviewing. Part D of uncertainty principle, it 
uh, brings you back to optics, how single solid diffraction was explained. And now, with the quantum mechanics in the rear view, you can actually go back and look at it and see how it's consistent with the uncertainty principle. And um, you can look at the answer. Um, so there are some types of questions that I can now ask because now you have proper perspective over all the topics. And um, well, maybe that's the one question. <laughs> the others don't really relate to. But you know, it does come down to the, um, you can do more of a synthesis that we are not able to do in midterm exam. Yeah. So that's really what this, uh, um, um, the final, the posted uh, last, last year's final exam is useful for.